In this video, I want to show you how you can use MailChimp to automatically market to your WooCommerce customers. MailChimp has a series of automations that you can use to um, send emails to people who've abandoned carts or, or to customers who haven't purchased for a while. So I'll take you through all those. The first thing we need to do is install the MailChimp extension for WooCommerce. So let's jump over to the back end of my site now. So here we are at the back end of my site and we're going to add a new plugin. And the one we're looking for is MailChimp or WooCommerce. Right, there's a number of MailChimp for WooCommerce type plugins. The one you're looking for is this one with the gray monkey and it's made by MailChimp themselves. So let's install that. And activate it. So once it's activated, we need to connect our WooCommerce store to MailChimp. So the first thing it asks for is an API key. So we need to log into our MailChimp account, go to the API section. So if we go to profile, extras, API keys. Now treat API keys as if they were passwords. You'll see on the next page we go to, I've blurred out all my API keys. I'm going to create a new key. Give it an, a label. Let's just call it WooCommerce. I'm not bothered about you seeing this API key because I'm going to delete it once this video is recorded. So copy that, go back to your WordPress site, and then paste in the API key. So that creates a secure connection between WooCommerce and your MailChimp account. So we need to set some store settings. Set your currency, I'll just go with the defaults. So you might want to set the default from name. Let's look at the list settings now. So the list settings are where you want to push any information to if somebody subscribes. So we'll just set my Neil Matthews list. Do you want to do an initial sync? So what will happen is all your current customers from your WooCommerce store will be pushed into that list. So you'll already have your customers subscribe to that list. And you'll find that on checkout, a new opt-in box will appear. You can leave that in or you can hide that if you want, if you don't want to do that. And some advanced settings here, whereabouts on the WooCommerce checkout, you want to show that checkbox. You can move it about if you understand what these hooks are. <laughs> if not, come and ask me and I'll explain them to you. So that's the WordPress side of things done. Let's look at the automations that are available to us. So inside of your MailChimp account, we need to create a new campaign. And that's where the automation is going to happen as a campaign. So we're going to be sending an email. It's going to be an automated email. And it's going to be an e-commerce based email. So this is where we can see the various automations that are available to you. So you could 
thank a first time customer. So the first time somebody buys a product from your store, you can spend, send them a special email to say thank you. You can reward your best customers. So after a customer has bought X number of products, you could send them a reward, a coupon, or perhaps you have some secret products that only super, super secret uh, products that only special customers can buy. You can retarget site visitors. So if somebody's visited your site and haven't bought anything, you can do that to them. Abandon cart email, that's very useful. So if somebody comes to your WooCommerce store and add stuff to the cart and they go to check out, they've typed in the name, email, and then they've abandoned. MailChimp gets a notification of that and you can send them an abandoned cart email with details of the cart and what products they will plan to buy. And then you could possibly entice them back with a coupon or something like that. Instead of using WooCommerce to send order notifications, you can use MailChimp if you wanted to. Personally, I would just stick with WooCommerce. Follow up on purchase. So X days after somebody's bought something, you could say, can you leave a review or are you happy with your purchase? And this one is the one I'm gonna take you through. Win back last laps. Laps. <laughs> Win back customers who haven't been to your site for some time. <laughs> you can say if somebody hasn't purchased from you for 90 days, 180 days, or something like that, you can send them out a reminder email. That's what, we'll do that one now, just to show you what these look like. So the campaign name: Win back lapsed customers. It's connected to that list there. Click on begin. So what this has got by default is th three emails in this series. So if they haven't purchased anything for 120 days, send this email. Again, if they haven't purchased anything for 240, send a second one and 360, a third one. If, I think what they're saying here is if they haven't purchased after almost a year, they're probably not coming back to your shop. So let's design that email and see what it looks like. Give it a name, give it a subject. So we haven't seen you for a long time, something like that. Showcase a product. So oh, we haven't let's see. You're gonna have to ignore my typos. So you can put in a little, little message here, Lorem Ipsum message, whatever you want to say. Um, we are now we're now selling widgets you get the idea you're saying to them you haven't been for some time here's a message do you know that we're so selling these now Image in. Canadian flag, whatever it might be. And then you can have a link back to your shop. And then rinse and repeat three times with those other thing, other three emails. Once you activate this workflow, it begins an automation. So it's looking at your customers and it has information of the last time they purchased things. So every morning or at the time of your choosing, 
it does a scan of your database in MailChimp, looks for customers who haven't bought for 120 days, and it will automatically send those emails to them. You do this work once, set it away, and just forget about it. Let me just go back to the dashboard. But what you also get is a series of tools that manages your e-commerce performance. Obviously, I'm not selling any products at the moment. But in your e-commerce performance, you'll see how much you've earned from campaigns and more importantly, how much you've earned from automations. Because a click from that automated marketing message that generates a sale will be recorded here and you can see how good or bad that particular message is working for you. So that's automated WooCommerce marketing with MailChimp. If you have any questions about that, please do let me know.